Understanding the Indian Penal Code, 1860, an evolving legal landscape. Introduction. Welcome to our channel. I am Kartikian. Today, we're exploring the Indian Penal Code, 1860, IPC, a cornerstone of India's legal system shaping criminal law for over a century. Join us to understand its evolution, key principles, and significant cases. Chapter 1. Introduction. Overview of the Indian Penal Code, 1860. The IPC was enacted in 1860 during British rule and came into force on January 1, 1862. Drafted by the first law commission under Lord Macaulay, it aimed to standardize criminal law across India. Historical context. Designed to bring consistency and fairness to colonial India's prosecution of crimes, the IPC was influenced by English common law but tailored for India's diverse society. It remains essential today, defining offenses, prescribing punishments, and ensuring uniformity in criminal justice. Chapter 2. General Principles, Structure and Organization Divided into 23 chapters with 511 sections, the IPC starts with general explanations followed by specific offenses categorized by crime nature. Key definitions and general exceptions. Important definitions include offense, punishable acts or omissions, punishment, penalties for offenses and culpable homicide, causing death with intent. Sections 76 to 106 cover exceptions like acts done in good faith or under duress, acknowledging not all harmful acts are crimes. Chapter 3. Offenses against the state sedition, section 124a. Sedition involves acts inciting hatred against the government. In Kedar Nath Singh v. State of Bihar, 1962, the Supreme Court limited its application to incitement to violence. Recently, in 2022, the Supreme Court stayed its application, signaling a review. Waging War, Section 121. Section 121 punishes those waging or attempting to wage war against the government of India, crucial in cases like Mohammed Ajmal Kassab's conviction for the 2008 Mumbai attacks. Chapter 4. Offences against public tranquility, unlawful assembly, section 141, and rioting, section 146. An assembly of five or more people with a common objective to commit an offence is unlawful. When violence is used, it becomes rioting. These sections ensure public order, as seen in the Shaheen Bagh protests of 2020. Chapter 5. Offences relating to religion. Promoting enmity between different groups. Section 153A. Section 153A addresses acts promoting enmity between groups, maintaining harmony. The Supreme Court upheld this in Pravasi Balai Sangatan v. Union of India, 2014. Injuring or defiling places of worship. Section 295. Section 295 addresses acts intended to insult religions by damaging places of worship, crucial for public order. The Ayodhya verdict of 2019 highlighted its importance. Chapter 6. Offences against the human body murder, section 302, and culpable homicide, section 304. Murder involves intentional killing, while culpable homicide involves causing death without intent, but with knowledge of likely death. The Nirbhaya case of 2012 showed stringent application of Section 302, Assault, Section 351, and Sexual Offences, Sections 375-376. Assault involves creating apprehension of harm. Sections 375 and 376 deal with rape and its punishment. The 2013 Nirbhaya Act introduced stricter punishments for sexual offences. Conclusion the IPC 1860 remains a dynamic part of India's legal framework, adapting to societal changes. Understanding its principles is crucial for appreciating Indian law. Thank you for joining us. Like, share and subscribe for more legal content. Drop your questions or topics in the comments below. Stay informed and stay safe.